When is the best time to start jujitsu? Probably around five years of age. When is the second best time to start jujitsu? Today. Embarking on a journey into jujitsu, especially for those over 40, can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Physical and psychological fears may loom large, but the journey promises to be a transformative experience that extends beyond the mats. We hope you are enjoying our podcast interviews. In this video, we will explore the common fears faced by individuals starting jujitsu later in life, strategies for overcoming them, and the profound impact this journey can have on personal growth and well-being. We all fear the unknown, and starting jujitsu later in life often means stepping into the unknown. The fear of not knowing what to expect, coupled with concerns about fitting in among younger practitioners, can be paralyzing. Overcoming this fear involves reframing it as an opportunity for personal growth. Usually people are concerned about their own physical capabilities compared to other younger students. The physical demands of jujitsu can be intimidating, especially for those who haven't engaged in regular physical activity. Addressing this fear involves starting gradually. The easiest way to stay safe is to not let your ego drive your training. Communicate openly with instructors and training partners about any physical limitations. Understand that jujitsu is adaptable to various fitness levels and body types. Jujitsu is, in fact, for everyone, fear of injury is certainly a reasonable concern when you have zero experience on the jujitsu mat. However, you will find that safety is often the first concern of the professors who run classes. You will find that they emphasize technique over strength. Most schools offer a supportive training environment with careful training partners and good professors. The risk of injury diminishes. Recognizing that injuries can occur in any physical activity and taking preventive measures, such as proper warm-ups and listening to one's body, will help keep you safe as well. Jiu-Jitsu demands humility and a willingness to embrace failure as part of the learning process. Overcoming the fear of failure involves reframing mistakes as opportunities for growth. Accept that everyone, regardless of age or experience, goes through a learning curve. Allow yourself to focus on progress rather than perfection. Balancing work, family, and other commitments can create apprehension about the time required for jujitsu training. However, when you weigh the benefits of the time, you will spend training against the time you would spend doing other activities. You will quickly see that the dividends that come from jujitsu training outweigh so many other ways you could spend your time. Jujitsu is an investment in overall well being. The fear of not measuring up to younger, more experienced practitioners can be discouraging. Overcoming this fear entails understanding that everyone's jujitsu journey is unique. Focusing on personal progress, celebrating small victories, and seeking inspiration rather than comparison can transform this fear into motivation. Starting jujitsu after the age of 40 is not just about learning a martial art, it's a courageous step toward personal growth, resilience, and well-being. By acknowledging and addressing common fears, individuals can navigate the challenges and embrace the transformative power of jujitsu. Beyond the physical techniques, the journey offers lessons in perseverance, adaptability, and the limitless potential of the human spirit, proving that age is not a barrier, but a gateway to new possibilities.